I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, my hot take or unpopular opinion is Lil Mosey is the greatest mm. rapper of all time. Where is your dad? Where is your mom? Where is your family? The GOAT. Alright. He made Blueberry Fago. Nobody did that before. I have a season one Aaron has been a more character. Wallahi, I've seen people say it takes like Tanjiro's better than Musashi, Goku's better than Musashi. At this point, there's a new hot take every day. Like fam, listen, listen, listen. You can't even get mad at these people because you know, you aren't doing these hot takes to get a discussion going or anything. You have a yelling fetish. A yelling fetish. You love to get violated on the internet. That's your fetish. That's your daily dose of dopamine. At that point, it's not a hot take. It's just... Anyways. Let's discuss hot takes. Back when I came into the anime manga community and was transitioning from a traditional meme page to more of an anime manga page, I decided I would make a post called Hot Takes. Bro, at this time it was unthinkable to say any characters were better than Musashi and Guts. I mean, yeah, you had the occasional Luffy and Gensoki fan, the Naruto fan getting violated as usual, but generally speaking, it was almost taboo, as corny as that sounds. And then here comes meme slowly with that Goku Musashi take. Bro, when I drop that post, everyone loses it, bro. My DMs start exploding. People are dropping essays left and right. Everyone's reposting it on their story, violating me. They're like, yo, what is the meme slowly on? What is he saying? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? This, this, that. And I'm just like, you're probably thinking, yeah, I didn't do that again. And yeah, completely wrong. I took it a step further. I started saying takes like, Hisoka's better than Aizen. I started justifying these takes with my own essays. That pissed them off a lot more. And these essays were corny as hell, by the way. They're all trash. Also, when I say essays, I don't actually mean essays. I just mean a long paragraph. It's just, you know. But yeah, looking back at it, I was actually enjoying it. I love the discussion that was taking place because of that hot take. It forced people to go back and think about both these characters, Goku and Musashi. It made people reconsider their thoughts of Goku being a boring MC. It redeveloped and solidified their thoughts on Musashi. It was a win-win for both situations. I mean, sure, I wasn't able to convince anyone of my hot take, but it definitely provided entertaining and introspective discussions. Heavy on the entertaining part. Fast forward to today, there's a new hot take every day. Hot takes have lost all of value. Hot takes don't even exist anymore. The discussion is being killed because whenever you criticize someone's hot take, just like they did to me when I was first joining the anime manga community, they always reply talking about some Respect my opinion. It's my opinion. You have to respect it. Respect? Respect your opinion? Oh nah bro. On the topic of respecting other people's opinions, people often mistake criticism of something as hate. You could have something in your top 10 and you could criticize it. That wouldn't mean you're hating on it. You're just pointing out an obvious flaw. Being a fan doesn't equate to unconditionally loving something. For example, Naruto is a good anime, but is it flawed? Yes, absolutely. It has a plethora of issues within it. Recognizing these issues only makes you a better fan as you're able to fully accept the anime as it truly is, rather than just completely ignoring these issues. I mean, criticism can also be a positive thing. Pointing out the merits of a series is also criticism. Criticism isn't limited to the faults of something. Criticism also allows us to hold media to a higher standard. And even if you don't reach this high standard, you would have still found slash made something incredible. It's kind of like that quote that goes, aim for the heavens, because even if you don't reach it, you'll land among the stars. But yeah, let's go back to hot takes. Have you ever seen someone say a quote unquote hot take? but it's like the most safe take ever. Like, I don't know why people are so scared of getting violated on the internet. Real life is a whole different situation. But the internet? Like, bro, if you're getting obliterated in the comment section and it's actually emotionally impacting you, then just close the screen. It's that simple. But anyways, I think being authentic is so much better than faking your taste just to fit in with the internet group. If you have a hot take, say it loudly. It's what makes the internet and discourse interesting. Imagine how boring everything would be if everyone had Musashi and Guts number one, you know. And hot takes bring attention to characters people would have previously overlooked, or perhaps characters they don't know of. Let me explain how that works. For example, let's say you read an underrated manga and you think that people should pay more attention to it. My strategy is to compare this anime or manga to something that people are already aware of. For example, you could compare Hunter x Hunter to Kichi. Now most people probably have never heard of Kichi, you probably have never heard of Kichi and that's fine. But if I were to say this unknown manga was better than Hunter x Hunter through some interesting reasoning, I could potentially bring in more people than just doing a straight review of Kichi, you know. 
because this strategy is bringing in fans from two different fan bases basically you're hacking social media by comparing you're targeting two different niches at the same time another thing with hot takes is that it's the best representation of your perspective everyone's perspective is new and fresh since hot takes generally tend to attract a lot of people if you're able to articulate yourself well and elaborate in depth you could potentially create a whole new wave of people that agree with you it only makes the internet more fun by putting yourself boldly out there you attract like-minded people or turn people into like-minded people and what i'm trying to show through that is your unique thoughts and perspectives have power your thoughts have the ability to influence create and change there are only few things that harmonize on the internet perfectly and hot takes are one of them i think the most annoying thing about hot takes is when people get mad like bro you said something against the status quo like what were you expecting people have this misconception in their head where they think that just because they said an opinion means that everyone will tolerate and respect it like no that's not how it works now one thing i like doing when explaining things is taking it to the extreme and when you take something to the extreme people realize the concept very easily so i'll push it to the absolute limit like this is a real fallacy by the way i'm entitled to my opinion when someone dismisses arguments against their position by claiming that they have a right to hold their particular viewpoint this is stupid because it completely cancels out discussion and conversation one if i were to say murder is okay right that's an opinion would you then just go ahead and say oh no bro it's my opinion you have to respect it like no and yeah that's what i meant by pushing it to the extreme both are opinions opinions can be challenged and people can have an opinion on your opinion if you want to get real detailed like technically you're defeating the point of social media when you're getting mad at other people's reactions and opinions of your opinion because the purpose of social media after all is to be social so in conclusion what makes a perfect hot take is all about thought provocation individuality and a well elaborated perspective those corny hot takes where they just say things just to get a reaction will always end up being boring and it just becomes incredibly annoying after a while like bro you got your clout once just move on man so yeah stay bold be authentic and openly express yourself